Welcome to MarcusG.TV. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano and I'm a chef on a mission. Today's mission is 50 mistakes that restaurant owners make. And uh, it's a little project I have where I give cyber consulting, coaching to restaurants worldwide. And uh, today, what's the topic today, Jamie? Um, today's topic is one of our staff members went to another restaurant and had a pretty interesting experience <laughs> that I thought that we thought would be... We just have to share this. We just have to share this. We just have to share this. So this is sort of like a bartending lesson too, isn't it? Uh, it's just a lesson in general. <laughs> it's just a little, so we're big fans of customer service here at Aroma Time, right Dina? That's right. Dina's been here ten year, uh, three years with us. And um, how do we take customer service here? We take it very seriously. It's probably one of the bigger things that we pride ourselves on as well with everything else. So, what's the first book that we have everybody read before, they, before they're allowed to work? It's called Raving Fans, and it's a book on creating raving fans for your... It's customer service. It's how to build a unique business um, and how to provide unique service where they, when the guests leave your place, they're raving about your place. Now, do we do it every time? No, we're human. We're a restaurant. Things happen. Um, disasters do happen. But we have the mentality and the philosophy going into it that we're here to create raving fans. So, Jamie, you got an interesting email from one of our staff sure who's did. been with us a little while. And her and her parents went out to eat at a place in Oneonta, New York. And what was the what was this uh, this email? What was the uh... so the email was that they went out to eat um, at a restaurant and they were sitting at the bar and they ordered food and the bartender they had made they asked for a I think it was a vodka tonic and the bartender you know made the drink handed it to them and they immediately tasted the drink and spit the drink out like literally spit it out it tastes so bad. So they asked the bartender, you know, what did you put in this drink? And he said, I put tonic and vodka. I don't know why, you know, it's, there's something wrong with it. So they must have said, well, there's definitely something wrong with it. So the bartender did the right thing. He went and got a manager. And that's the right thing. That Whenever right you have a problem, you go he get went somebody. And got the manager. And the manager came over and said, well, make me a drink. Let me see what you did. So he took the bottle of vodka and the bottle of, or the, the gun, you know, the tonic. And was, tonic was in a bottle. Oh, it was in a bottle, it was yes. In a bottle. The tonic was in a bottle. So he took the tonic and the vodka and made the bartender, uh, the manager a drink. And the manager took one sip of it and also spit it out. So come to realize that um, one of the unlabeled tonic bottles was in fact Clorox bleach. Filled with bleach. Filled with bleach. So they made a drink with vodka and bleach. Bleach. Vodka and bleach. Don't try this. Now here's the shocking thing. This restaurant didn't buy that they made them the proper drinks. And they didn't buy them a round of drinks. Nor did they buy them anything. They paid full price for their drinks and their food after being served vodka and Clorox. Um, I am appalled. A shocked. shocked. Dina, what what would we have done here, Dina? I would have I would have immediately bought them drinks. I would have said, Your next round for lifetime is on me. I mean they for could lifetime. have for lifetime. They could have gotten seriously sick and seriously injured or something because of that little mistake. I mean, I would have not let them walk out the door without them. We wouldn't have charged yeah, them. Yeah, no, not at all. We wouldn't have charged them. We wouldn't have charged them for, charge them for anything. Charge them for anything. Their food or anything. Wouldn't no. have charged them. Do you know the kind of liability that is? Do, and do you know the brand and reputation management we have to do now? They were thinking about calling all these agencies to report this restaurant. Bleach and vodka. You're serving your customers bleach. This is like major. You'd think that the restaurant owner or somebody would have half a brain to say, we've got to do something to make these people happy. Now, most people don't really complain when they're in your restaurant, as we find, but once they leave, that's when they tell the world and they go on and post things all over the internet. And what do I always say, Dina and Jamie? It's not worth it. No. You comp the stuff. Whatever it is you comp it, it's not worth the repercussions later on. Now, there's certain guests who just get to me and it's like, you know what? I just want you out of my restaurant. Well, they're looking for free stuff. They're looking for free stuff. But you have to look into the future and saying, what are, what are the repercussions? What are these people going to do in the future? It's not worth it. I mean, what they probably spend for lunch? 50, 60 bucks for the three of them? 40 bucks? 
you comp everything. What does it cost if you if you spend fifty bucks at a restaurant? Restaurant tour, if a guest spends fifty bucks with you, what's your food cost? Twenty, thirty percent? What's your labor? You, you're just give them the food. Just give them it. Give it to them. Don't don't take a single chance. It's not worth it. If they were to call the health department, Wait. there could be some major repercussions here. If they were to call the Better Business Bureau, major repercussions the here. The restaurant could be shut down. It can be shut down. It's not worth it. I was shocked when I found out that they didn't buy them a single thing. Now, we have something in place at my restaurant. It's $50. and All of my staff has the power to comp anything up to $50 off of a guest bill without asking management. Every single night. Every single night. So Dina, whoever, Aaron who works for us, whoever can actually take it into their own hands if a guest is unhappy, comp 50 bucks. They need to spend more than 50 bucks. They have to come to Jamie and I, proper management form, and say this is what's happening, this is what I need to do. And I think only once, Dina, have we ever had to spend comp more than 50 bucks? Two, bur two burgers and some other stuff came to the kitchen on a Sunday night and the chef at the time didn't even see the tickets. They didn't even start tickets. An hour and ten minutes later, the food finally went on the grill and it was just like, just buy their food for them. It's not worth it. You know, what are, what's 60, it was like 60 bucks the ticket came to. It's just not worth it. Just buy it for them. So uh, today's lesson is, you know, don't put bleach in anything besides <laughs> the bleach bottle. Don't use and it for anything. And label it. And label it. Don't, don't even put anything, to be, don't use it for anything besides the clean and don't move labels. That's why you don't take chemicals and move them into other bottles of anything. You just don't do it. Now, this restaurant, they didn't have a gun. They kept bottles of tonic, and that's what they were making, bottles of tonic. So one of the staff members probably just took bleach somewhere else or did something with bleach or, or needed bleach at the bar and went to the kitchen and grabbed a bottle of bleach, and that's what they did. Um, and hopefully that restaurant had a staff meeting about it and learned from that because that's a major, major, major screw up. So I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano. If you're a restaurant owner, what would you have done in that situation? Post your comments below. I'm really interested to see what you guys would have done. Thanks for watching.